What's up everyone, Adam Saxton with Guy in a Cube and today I'm going to talk about how you can get up and running with Power BI reports inside a Power BI report server. That's coming up. So you're not sure where to start, but all you know is that you want to create some great Power BI reports inside a Power BI report server. And so let's take a look and walk through what exactly you need to do. And before we get into it, all the links for everything I'm going to be talking about are down in the description below, or if you're watching this on the Power BI guided learning section, they are in the guided learning document as well. So let's get in and see what we need to do to create those Power BI reports. So first off, we need to download and install the Power BI desktop that's optimized for Power BI report server. To do that, we're going to want to go to the Microsoft Download Center and actually download those items. So in here, you're going to see that there's three downloads that are available to us. What we're interested in is the Power BI desktop reporting services, and you want to match the platform that you're on. Typically, it's probably going to be 64-bit, so we want the x64.msi. So we can just go ahead and download and then select that item and then hit Next and that should download it for us. Installs really quick. All you're gonna do is just run that and install it into its default location. Then once we're done installing it, we're gonna go back to our desktop and on our desktop, we're gonna see an icon for Power BI Desktop. You'll notice I actually have two here. One just says Power BI Desktop. The other one says Power BI Desktop Report Server. And the report server is the one that we want. This is the one that's optimized for Power BI report server. The other one is meant for the actual Power BI cloud service or the SaaS service. That's what that one's for. So make sure that we're opening the correct one, the one that says report server. Okay, once it comes up, we're gonna see a nice little welcome screen. We can go ahead and hit get data right from this screen or we can close that and go up to get data up on the top. For Power BI report server, for initial release, we are only supporting connectivity to an analysis services live connection. And so if we want to create a report, we have to have an analysis services, either multidimensional or tabular, available to us that we can go ahead and use. I happen to have one available, so let's go ahead and choose analysis services and then we're gonna enter in our server information. Now we could enter in, if you know the database option or the, the name of the database, you can go and enter that here. Uh, I'm gonna show you what it looks like if we don't. And then we wanna make sure that connect live is selected. Once that's done, go ahead and hit okay. And if you didn't enter in a database name, you'll get a navigator that comes up and you can select the database and model that you want. So we'll go ahead and expand. We're gonna use Star Wars in this case. We're gonna do model and hit OK, and then you'll notice that we've got some fields and whatnot on the right. Power BI Desktop optimized for Power BI Report Server is exactly like, in terms of usability, is the same as the Power BI Desktop for the main service. So if you're familiar with Power BI Desktop overall with creating visualizations and reports, this should be very familiar with, for you, and you can do everything you could do in Power BI Desktop for the main service for the most part. So from here, we can just go ahead and, you know, drag some fields and stuff and create our visualizations. I've already got a report created, so we'll go ahead and take a look at that. And so here's my actual finished report. I've got a slicer on the left. I've got a pie chart talking about mass by gender. And then I've also got a count of classifications for the races that are involved. And so once we've got our report done and everything's working the way we want, we can go ahead and save it and publish it. So we've got two options. Either one, we can save it locally and then upload it to the web portal for our report server, or two, we can actually go ahead and save it directly to the report server from Power BI Desktop. So let's go ahead and just save it directly to the report server. So we'll go up to File, we'll go down to Save As, and we'll see Power BI Report Server here. We can go ahead and select that. I've already got my server here in the list. If you didn't, you just put in the URL for your server. So it's going to be slash reports on the end of the URL. And then we'll hit OK. And then it will come up with a list and show you folders if there are folders available in this server. It's a brand new server, so there's no folders. If you did want to put this in a folder on the report server itself, you'd want to go create those folders inside of the web portal first before you went to go upload it. So in this case, this is fine. We're going to go ahead and hit OK and it says it was successful. You So you can click on the link, it will take you to the web portal, but I've already got it up and running, so let's go to it, and we're gonna refresh, and we can see our Star Wars report already there. So now, 
in order to run the report, we can just go ahead and select it. Oh no, we got an error. And if we go to the details, it says something about Kerberos. As a report creator, I don't know what the heck it's talking about. If you are interested in fixing this error, I'll link to another video where you can go ahead and see details on how to fix this. We've also got an associated document with this as well. So you can share that with your IT admin. They can get you up and running, not a problem. In our case though, we don't wanna really concern ourselves with this because this is really hard. So let's just go ahead and close that. We'll go back to the main landing page for the web portal. And what we can do is go to the ellipse of the report, go down to manage, go to data sources, and in here we can actually supply credentials for the data source. So we're not just gonna use Windows Authentication and Kerberos to go through that. So let me go ahead and put in my credentials here. And once you've entered these credentials, you have two options here. One is if we just leave the credentials entered as is, any user that uses this report will use those credentials to connect to analysis services. There's a checkbox down here though that says log in using these credentials, but then try to impersonate the user viewing the report. What this will do is it will initially connect with the user that you've supplied, and then we will use effective username to impersonate the actual end user of the report. In order for this to work properly, the username and password that you type in here has to be a server admin in order to use effective username. So if you don't have that, you'll need to get with your DBA or IT admin or whoever owns that analysis services server to get that configured properly. But once that's done, we can go and hit test connection and that connected successfully. So let's go ahead and save it. And if we go back to home and go to run our report, the report should come up and it did. So now we can go ahead and use our slicers and we'll see that the report data is changing. And this is actually issuing direct queries or actual live queries to the analysis services instance. And so we are up and running. And then at this point we could edit directly in Power BI Desktop. So this will actually launch Power BI Desktop and allow us to make an adjustment to the report if we want to. The other thing is if we did save this locally, we could just open that up inside of Power BI Desktop and then save it back. But let's go ahead and just choose edit in Power BI Desktop and we'll see that it launches. We're gonna say open. You'll notice Power BI Report Server on the launch screen. Okay, so we can make our changes here. Let's change this pie chart to a donut as well. And when we save this, because we opened it from the report server, it's gonna save it directly back to the report server. So we can go ahead and close that. Let's go back to home. And then we'll rerun the report again. And now we see that both are the donut charts and instead of the one being a pie chart. So you can easily update these reports through Power BI Desktop directly to the report server with ease. The other thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure to do is make sure that people in your organization can view this report. You may have to work with the admin of the report server to make sure that this happens, but in general, you wanna make sure that people can actually see this. So we can go to manage and you can go to security and make sure that folks in here are able to, the people that you want to view the report are in this list. Typically this is inherited from whatever folder it's in, and so if you do have a folder, you wanna make sure that that folder, let's go ahead and create a folder. So you'd wanna make sure that the security for this folder would also have the people listed that you want to see this report. Do you have any questions on how to do this? Was there something maybe I didn't cover that maybe you were interested in? You can go and leave that down in the comments below of the video, or you can provide feedback in the comments of the guided learning article. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if it's your first time here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more great videos and more great content. Thanks for watching, keep being awesome, and I'll see you in the next video.